And we've been visiting a number of the consequences, a number of the programs we've been doing here on TV3 and across media general platforms. The Community Manifesto on the New Day, we're there with you engaging the views and comments and opinions of people right there. And then also engaging a number of people on this matters of constituency what we've been talking to some of the constituents. Today, we're getting into the lab, that they go to constituency, and that's a constituency to watch, and there's a reason why. Because even though you would say that based on the analysis, is one that has really favored the NDC in terms of both the presidential and parliamentary, the NPP has won the Ladekotopong constituency twice in, in the 2000 election and then also in the 2016 election. The man that you see there, Dr. Gerard Nyanyofio, is one that, even though he won the primaries, that's what you see there, breaking the eight, he won the primaries of the MPP in this constituency, but then, we understand for some reasons, he was prevailed upon to step down um, for the current parliamentary candidate who won the primaries as well, uh, on the ticket of the MPP, who is the, the personal driver of President Nanado Dankwe Kofuara, I'm going to tell you about him shortly, but this is a consequence. You want to take a look at this based on the trend analysis as we have seen for the presidential in right from this period in the year 2000. We'll look at this quite closely. Even though the NPP won in the year 2000, this particular election presidential for the Sladat Kotopong constituency, you see things playing out quite differently in the subsequent elections. So you see in 2004, the NDC reinstalled their or, or dom dominance and also the victory in that constituency. In the year 2000, uh, Nia Konai, who, who won this Ladin Kotopon constituency on the ticket of the NPP, did not contest in the 2004 elections. From 2004, we saw the NDC now flex its muscles there. In fact, the member of parliament who held this constituency for the NDC in the parliamentary is the one and only Ni Amasana Mwale. Now he won the 2004 elections, won the 2008 elections, won the 2012 elections. But in 2016, even though the NPP won in 2016 with the former Deputy Minister of Communi Communications, who is also now going in as an independent candidate. I'm talking about none other than the man that they call Obama, Pao number seven. He is a man to watch as well in this constituency, and he is one that the NPP is also looking at quite closely as to how things are going to play out with him as well, going into this particular election. In fact, there are many individuals who have contested this constituency, talking about Sylvester Mensah, of the former NHI boss. He's been there be before, as well as near Masana Mwale, as we're seeing. Now, the MPP has a big headache, and I'm going to show you in a bit. This is it. If you look at the notice of poll, Vincent Sowa Odote, who was a former member of parliament for the constituency, on the ticket of the MPP, in the 2016 elections, he won. That even though the MPP won the 2016 election for the parliamentary, they lost the presidential because it's an NDC stronghold, really, in the greater Accra region. So look at this. In 2016, for the presidential, the NDC still won with 52.59%. For the parliamentary, the NDC lost with just a little over 2,000 votes. At the time, Nia Masalam Namwale had its own issues with the parties constantly. The, the party's constituents and also the executives of the NDC in the Ladadiko Point constituency, that didn't work out for him. So if you see this as well, there are many who will say that, well, with what is happening in the MPP fold, then the NDC's Ritana Dole Sowa, who is the incumbent member of parliament, will just take this very easily. But the man, Joseph Kwashi Ado, who is the MPP candidate in this constituency, is the personal driver of Nana Dodankwe Kufuado for many, many years. Is the one who won the primaries in there as well. So this is one that to watch as well as how things will play out. There are two independent candidates in this particular constituency. You have Abe, David Anete, who's going as an independent candidate, and then the former member of parliament of the constituency on the ticket of the MPP, Vincent Tsuwa a former deputy communications minister, also going as an independent candidate as well. 
we'll see how things will play out in the ladder. The Kotokpon constituency that has areas like 37 military hospital, parts of Chado, La itself, parts of Osu, and cantonments. Cantonments is in this constituency, has been described as one of, in fact, the second most affluent constituency in this country going into the elections. Stay with us here on your election command center. We'll be giving you a lot more of this as we build up.